Well, okay, ladies. Great to be on here this evening. Really great to uh, be able to just share tonight. So who's ever joining us, welcome to our toxin-free living with essential oils. And um, really great to have you with us tonight. Natasha Giles here, and we've got Louise who shared with us last week, and we've got Haylette, and we've got Nora coming in all the way, um, should we say from Australia through Robles Doll. <laughs> and uh, really great to have you on this evening, Nora. And I'm uh, just really excited to be able to hear. And yeah, let's just let everybody know, um, you know, just uh, how we enjoy living toxin-free life with doTERRA's essential oils. And so as I start off this evening, we're just going to let everybody know that, hey, we're not doctors. Uh, we are, uh, Louise is probably the, the professional and so is um, Haylette there, there's teachers and all that. But, um, you know, we're just everyday moms and um, <laughs> we just love using natural products. And um, so we want to just really share with you and let you know what we're doing on a daily basis. And, you know, it's a process. So none of us started overnight and just kind of like ditched everything. It's a slow process and we're constantly doing that. And so, yeah, really excited to be able to have Nora sharing with us. And, um, yeah, do us a favor as we're starting out, make sure that you are commenting on the Facebook page saying your name, where you're from, and perhaps even who invited you to the Facebook page, all right? And um, at the end of it, we're going to be having a question, a pop-up question that Nora is going to ask, and then we have a prize, a draw prize for someone. So really just excited to have you all on this evening. So Nora, over to you this evening as you start to share with us and give us some tips and some tricks as to what you're doing with essential oils. Thank you, Nora. Thanks Natasha so much for the introduction. And yeah, I am here joining in from Corpus Dahl in Limpopo, South Africa. So for those of you that are outside of South Africa, hello to you. Um, but I think most of us that are tuning in right now are South Africans. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to be sharing about tonight's topic of toxin-free lifestyle. I definitely think this is an important topic that we all need to be discussing and doing our own self-research about. Um, so I'm really happy to be here and just sharing my little bit of knowledge. I don't know a hang of a lot, but I know um, what I will be sharing with you tonight about, and I'm excited for that. So a couple of years ago, I actually experienced a toxic um, symptom or um, side effect, you should call it. Um, when I was getting ready for my day, I sprayed on some perfume, which I hadn't actually used for quite some time. Um, I sprayed it on and I went out the house and a headache actually started, which later on in the day morphed into this migraine that actually sent me to bed in the evening in tears. And I was just in such pain. Um, thankfully, the next morning when I woke up, uh, my head was clear, so I was super thankful and I was ready for a day that wasn't going to be wasted. So I got up, showered, got myself ready, and my eye caught that perfume that smelled so wonderful the day before. You see that the penny hadn't quite dropped for me at that point. So what did I do? I grabbed the perfume, I spritz it on, and not too long after that, actually, much sooner than the day before, the headache came back. And that's when the penny finally dropped and I realized, oh my goodness, it was a perfume. Um, so that was my, okay, maybe I've had a few others, but that was kind of like a big um, toxic um, experience that I've had with something that's got chemicals in it. And I was really surprised at how hectic that migraine became for me. And and I experienced, I, I couldn't stop the one that I'd had, that I started to experience on the second day either. So, wow, Nora, that's, I, that's a great, that's quite crazy, eh? Because I don't yeah. think people actually click, um, you know, why they're getting the headaches. So that's very exciting to actually hear that. I remember the first time I, I um, was started to use my perfume again that my hubby had gave, given me. And um, oh my goodness me, yes, I, it, it, I just want you to choke on the smell um, because of the toxins. And now I walk down those grocery aisles and I go, ah, I'm glad I have, a, well, I, we don't have masks anymore, but I, I was actually thankful to have a mask because of those toxic smells. So yeah, that's enough from me, but yeah, thanks for sharing that and your testimony yeah. there. You know what, the, I, I get people's love for perfumes. There's, I know a few girlfriends of mine really love their perfumes and I get it. They do smell amazing, but 
if they sit on your shelf too long um, and they're just the side effects or the, the hidden effects, not even the side effects, the hidden effects that they have on our body system is just too incredible to even bother to use them. But in any case, moving right along. So <laughs> as I chat to you tonight, um, I want to take notes. If this is a new topic for you, maybe you want to take notes. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments here and I will get back to them once we've finished with tonight's um, chat. Um, but I also want you to understand that a 100% toxic free um, home or lifestyle is pretty impossible. There are just too many factors involved in the whole thing, um, especially if you consider what's in the air and we have no control over that. So it is much safer and easier for us to try and avoid toxins. And that's what we're going to be talking about tonight is avoiding them then it is to try and get out of them out of sorry get them out of our body once they are in there um, so this is an important aspect of this whole topic that we need to be looking at and addressing that we want to avoid them rather than having to get rid of them so uh, sharing first about what toxins are and how they um, get into our bodies and how our bodies cope with them and then i'll be talking about the terrorist options that they give us for easy swaps, and um, they don't, they make it um, quite an easy subject to start to shift towards a non-toxic lifestyle. I also want you to understand the seriousness of the issue, but I don't want you to be overwhelmed or stressed about it. This is not what this is all about. This is about education and making you feel empowered with the education, but I certainly don't want you to feel stressed because then your body doesn't work well and you get sick, so we don't want that. But we do want you to become aware and come into a place of understanding. I want you to also know that the Terra's essential oils and their products are so versatile. I mean, the essential oils, you can use them for medicinal um, reasons, for sure. But you can also use them for cleansing and doing your DIYs and making soaps and making all sorts of things if that's your, your thing. Um, so they're very versatile and they really help us to um, move away from the toxic products that are so prevalent in our supermarket and chemist shelves. So we are all in this together. This is a global issue. This is not just my issue. This is not just Natasha's issue. It is everyone's issue. Um, whether you know it or not, these toxins are affecting you right now. And so this is an issue that we all need to be addressing and supporting each other in and talking about. I don't think it's a product, it's a top, sorry, topic that is talked about enough. Um, so that's why I'm quite happy to be here sharing about this topic of toxin free lifestyle. So the average person is actually exposed to 100 toxins and chemicals during one day. That's a hang of a lot of toxic exposure. So, in case you're wondering what a toxin is, a toxin is a substance that places undue stress on the body. So harmful chemicals called xenobiotics, it's a new word for me even, xenobiotics, um, like what we find in air, so the pollution in the air, numerous food additives, chemicals that we find in personal care products and makeups, um, household cleaners, medications, plastics, even going outside to herbicides and pesticides. I mean, that's where we're getting our harmful chemicals from. A toxic load then is the sum of these substances accumulated within the body and the burden that that then places upon our vital organs as well as our cells at any given time. So our genetics gen definitely do play a part in how our bodies cope. So some of us might get really sick, um, but others will cope very well and you won't even know that you've got toxins in the body and that's how um, tricky this topic really is. Um, some people really know that they're getting affected and other people think well I'm fine and they carry on with life only to get sick later on. So yes um, genetics, genetics do play a part but um, the possible consequences of a toxic load that's too heavy um, is a long list of chronic illnesses. Now, I'm not going to tell you all the illnesses that are out there, um, but, the, but a few of them are migraines, 
um, like I've just mentioned, allergies, skin problems, so eczema and things like that, leaky gut, thyroid issues, asthma, hypertension, cancers, infertility, and immune disorders. And this is just, that's not even the limit of the list. I mean, the list, if I'd gotten a scroll, it would have rolled onto the floor and would have rolled away from me. So this is just a little bit of, um, of what we can expect if we do not address this issue now. So I want you to think about your home. And I want you to go into your mind's eye a little bit here and think about waking up in the morning and getting up, heading to the bathroom and getting into the shower. And what do you use on your body? So you're using your soaps, you're using your shampoos, you are getting out, you're drying yourself, you're putting on your body creams and maybe your perfume, you're putting your makeup on. Um, then you head out to the kitchen. Now you're getting a little bit peckish, so you're wanting some food. What kind of foods do you eat? Do you eat processed foods or canned foods? Um, what about the clothing that you're putting on your bodies? What has that been treated in? Laundry detergents, high fragrance stay softeners, um, the list goes on there. But then we get to how you're freshening your, your house. Do you use candles? Do you use plugins? Do you use toilet sprays? There are so many aspects of our home that have the potential to add to our toxic load. And not just us, but our loved ones that are in the home with us. And so as you can see, I mean, I haven't even spoken about getting outside and into the sun or into the um, environment where there's insects and the products that we put on our skin concerning that. But you can see that it's not too long into the day where you're pretty much got, I don't know, 20, 40, 30, 50 odd chemicals already and it's not even noon. So it is an important topic. But I have really good news <laughs> in amongst all that. I've got good news for you. Um, you'll be glad to know that God designed our bodies with an amazing natural detox mechanism that works really well. So it turns out that our detox system essentially runs on water. So that the main way that we are flushing out our toxins is with water. Unfortunately, the crazy thing is that a lot of us are chronically dehydrated. So people, get out your stainless steel water bottles, fill them up and keep them with you the whole day because you're needing that water. <laughs> Drinking enough water daily is sometimes not so easy to do. We need to be taking in about eight cups and that's about two liters of water a day. I find that difficult, I don't know about you, um, but I have found that using certain essential oils, um, essential oils like grapefruit, fantastic, wild orange and lemon, um, tangerine, Peppermint, spearmint, lime, these are all really good essential oils to be putting into your water. They don't have any sugar or, or um, any contaminants, nothing toxic about it. They are 100% pure essential oils that you can put into your water, sparkling or still, and have a flavoring in there that entices you to come back and have another sip. Um, and you know what? With, when you're starting to use the citrus oils, they are actually helping you. Um, detox so they actually start to cleanse your system as well lemon is fantastic I mean all the citrus actually uh, citrus essential oils actually I don't even need to specifically say one or the other any one of them is fantastic whatever your palate desires um, pop that into your water and use that daily zendocrine is one of doTERRA's essential oils that they have specifically put together here it is here I don't know if you can see that Zendocrine, it's a detoxification blend that they put together. So it supports the natural, the body's natural ability to rid itself of unwanted substances. It contains the essential oils of rosemary, cilantro, juniper berry, and these are known for detoxifying properties. They also support the liver and the kidneys. And then there's also in there tangerine and geranium. And these two have purifying effects against unhealthy substances. 
So zendokine is a great one to be putting in a tea or your drinking water or juice. If you don't really like that flavor, then you can add it to an empty veggie capsule and take that internally. You can also be rubbing it onto the bottoms of your feet or over your abdomen to support the body's natural detox mechanisms. Okay, so not only does the detox system run on water um, that we put in and eliminate out, but it also runs on our sweat. So what we sweat out, which is awesome. So exercise to the point of sweating or using a sauna to induce the sweating are really important to get our body detoxing. The studies done by Bruce Laurie and Rick Smith, they are co-authors of the book, Tox In, Tox Out, getting harmful chemicals out of our bodies and into our home. Those studies showed that our bodies eliminated certain chemicals via the two different mechanisms that we had. He found that actually a lot of the plastic chemicals that we had in our bodies came out with our sweat, whereas a lot of the others were eliminated through our urine. So that's a quite an interesting factor. And I think that just tells us that we need to be conscious of both of these mechanisms and how much we are getting them to work. So I know some of us are not so keen on exercising or even exercising to the point of sweating, but girl, you gotta sweat. <laughs> that's just the truth. You, um, unless you have a sauna, you know, but who of us have a sauna? I don't, but. <laughs> You got to sweat. Thankfully, so, um, in South Africa, we've got summer coming up and summer is hot. And generally, we all like to have a good sweat in summer. But just remember, if you are sweating and it feels uncomfortable, just remember, hey, I'm de detoxing. So there's a plus side to sweating now. <laughs> Don't stress. So, yeah, we need to be making sure that we are make, um, making sure that those two mechanisms are working for us. Now on the topic of sweating, I do have to address a serious issue that many of us like to indulge in. And that is these, these products need to go in the rubbish bin. They are not <laughs> helping you sweat. They're actually clogging up your sweat glands and keeping those toxins in. So girlfriends out there, I know the smell may not be something you, that you are keen about, but listen, doTERRA actually have options for you where you don't have to worry about the smell. And these, I've tried them both and they're actually super good. I don't have a great stench with these. Oftentimes when I start to sweat, I smell the essential oils that these products have inside them. So there are other options out there that do not give us so many toxins in our body. Now, those kind of products have a lot of alcohol and aluminium and a whole list of other chemicals that I'm not going to start uh, mentioning right now, but they're not good. And doTERRA at least give us this option. And with the trusted brand that doTERRA is, you can opt in for this. So the first one is the doTERRA Balance. Now Balance has the essential oils of Howood, Blue Tansy and Blue Chamomile. And these just help with anxious feelings when they get um, into the air and around your, you know, you start smelling them in as well as frankincense, which is really grounding. The product has tapioca starch to absorb any moisture underneath the arm as well as baking soda to neutralize any um, any odors and prevent odors. Then they also brought out this one for sensitive skin. So if you are prone to sensitivity, this is an uh, excellent option. This is Douglas fir and Greek orange. So again, same type of principle, tapioca starch to absorb the uh, moisture underneath the arm, but instead of baking soda, they're using uh, magnesium to neutralize the odors for this one because baking soda can be irrit an ir irritant for some people. So these ones are great options to start out with. There are some DIY options, even just plain essential oils that can work. Um, 
but uh, you can chat to us a bit further or actually at the end we'll we'll kind of discuss a couple of diy options that are available yeah so nora just to to cut in there so the the two doTERRA products i mean they have nothing that's harmful for us you ditch yeah. the other stuff and we're switching to those awesome stuff absolutely. brilliant absolutely yes we must do that and you know what especially for us females and i guess the men as well i mean there's the same issue applies to them is that there's a lot of lymph nodes there and our breast tissue so now you're putting a lot of toxins in that area and those lymph nodes are just going to suck that in and keep it there unless you're a um, very active person lymph nodes don't drain on their own did you know that our lymph nodes don't have a draining mechanism you have to drain it for them so that's jumping on a trampoline that's running that's getting your exercise that's sweating out stuff so if you're not doing that, those lymph nodes are just holding on to um, the toxins and whatever else that they do um, in that area. So yeah, it's really important that we shift away from our deodorants. So to reduce toxins within our home, you can begin to do the following. And there's some really simple switches that we can do. And the first one is just to get fresh air into your home. So open up the windows. I don't know if you do that, but opening up your windows and allowing the air to move in, even in the colder months, is really important. That the um, air quality inside your home is much more toxic than the air quality outside due to the fact that there's glues and paints, um, fire retardants, et cetera, that are used in the furnishings that are in our home. So that's point one. Point two is to start to include house plants in your home. House plants have a great effect at improving the air quality in your home. There's a top six, six, not five, six, um, that I found out about. And that is the aloe plant, the spider plant, English ivy, peace lily, snake plant, which I believe is also called mother-in-law's tongue. And if you are prone to killing plants, that one doesn't die. Let me just say that it doesn't die. So you can definitely, Get mother-in-law's tongue. Ha, that's a good name for it, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, I only just got that now. <laughs> mother-in-law's tongue, and it doesn't die. Okay. Um, and then the rubber plant, which is ficus, uh, also known as a ficus. So these are great. I've got my plant here. This is a ZZZ plant, um, also a great one for cleaning the air. And it's also one that doesn't die easily. Um, so yeah, definitely start accumulating plants in your home. Bathrooms are great because they generally have a really good light. Um, but yeah, that's the second point. And the third point is obviously to start reducing what you're exposed to and what you have control of being exposed to. And that's where we're going next um, with the products that are in our homes. So sulfates, parabens, polyethylene, glycol, tri triclosan, um, formaldehyde, synthetic fragrances, and colorants. These are just some of the names of toxins, toxic ingredients that are found in the store-bought shampoos and conditioners that we actually have in our homes. And these ingredients can irritate the scalp, cross the skin blood barrier, which is really scary, and mimic human estrogen, amongst other things. So. These are ones that are definitely worth moving away from as soon as possible. So Terra do give us a great option to move to um, these two products, the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, these are salon, the salon standard products and are really fantastic for the hair. The shampoo contains wild orange and lime essential oils that gently cleanse the hair. Um, as well as plant extracts that protect the hair. And this is really safe as well. If you have colored hair, you don't need to worry about it washing away or getting stripped. This is a safe product for colored hair as well. And then the conditioner is nourishing and contains emollients, botanical extracts and natural proteins that leave your hair looking luminous and healthy. Um, it can also double as a shaving cream for your face, for the man or for your legs for the ladies, uh, this is a great one. So it's a multi-purpose tool. Um, I've been using this one for a long time now and really love how my hair 
sits, I mean, I have a lot of hair, so thick, and with uh, store-bought products, it ends up being like a boss. <laughs> so this product really does tame my hair beautifully, and I've got such more, a lot more confidence using this product. Um, my uh, One of my clients actually always had itchy scalp during the winter, and this winter she went into winter with this product, with using this product. And she now confided in me and said that she hasn't actually had her itchy scalp. So for her moving away from store-bought products that were irritating her scalp and were giving her that um, irritation, um, she's so happy and she's loving the product and enjoying the results. So I don't know about you, but before I started using doTERRA's Virage collection. This is a skincare collection from doTERRA. It comes in this cute little box. Um, I had a terrible habit of not following through with cleansing systems. I don't know about you, but I was, I would feel, I guess it was because I didn't really trust the company and maybe the product and um, I didn't see results. So sooner or later, that product would be in the cupboard. So I know I can't see you, but virtual hands up as to how many of you have or had a bathroom cupboard full of beauty products that had been used for a short amount of time and then landed up there. I mean, that was me before I came to doTERRA. I had a cupboard full. Um, so I was really, I already had, because of using the essential oils, I already had a trust in this company. And I'd heard a lot about this product already and how people were finding it um, so enjoyable to use and beneficial and so when I started to use this I was I already had an idea that was going to be great and I wasn't disappointed so this barrage line comes with the cleanser here it comes with a toner it also comes with the Immortel rehydrating serum which is amazing and then it comes with this gorgeous moisturizer so these all have um, botanical extracts and plant extracts that really help to um, enrich the skin and promote resilient and glowing complexion when i started to use the virage i wasn't disappointed the cleansers natural fragrance got me like wowed and the soft and silky moisturizer was just amazing so I was super impressed and um, not only to how I felt when I used the product, but how obviously and more importantly, how my skin looked and felt afterwards. And I've been using this, I actually can't tell you, maybe three years now, but, um, and it's been consistent use. So high five me <laughs> from having a life of not being consistent with facial care products. Um, to being very consistent yeah so the Virage line is really amazing so unfortunately not even our supermarket bath spa um, products are safe from toxic chemicals um, a lot of them have well most of them have harmful chemicals in them if not all of them ingredients like parabens and phthalates sodium laurel sulfate triclosan triclobane PEG compounds and synthetic fragrances. Are you impressed with my words? Um, <laughs> they are all hiding in these products and your soaps that you get from the supermarket are also um, have plenty of them in there. But doTERRA have a fantastic line. Now I've only got this one. It is the Citrus Bliss Bath Bar and what's inside here is the essential oils, what fragrances this is the essential oils of the Citrus Bliss blend. It also has a, a very soft exfoliation with the um, orange peel. So I've got orange peel in here, which is very, it's a very soft exfoliation. The, Louise see. is showing us all three of them. The moisturizing, the serenity Sorry, and the Citrus Bliss. That, well done, Louise. Yeah, they're yeah, beautiful. Thanks. I threw my boxes out, silly me, but yeah, there they are. Fantastic. So there's Serenity. Um, I don't know if many of you are familiar with the Serenity blend in doTERRA, but um, it's our 
relaxant blend that kind of helps us go to sleep and just get ready for the evening. So that's a super soap to be using in the evening. And then there's the moisturizing bar, um, which has bergamot and grapefruit in it. I actually really love that one. It's very soft and uplifting with its citrus aromas. Um, but all of these are nourishing to the skin. Uh, you won't find a dry kind of spot on your body unless it's winter and then you've got extra elements accumulating to that. But it's very moisturizing and very comforting to use in the shower. So these are great options, toxin free, that you can be opting out for. Moving on to a little bit of a different section of doTERRA's products that they've got. If you are familiar with doTERRA, you will already know about the awesome essential oil blend called On Guard. On Guard is doTERRA's protective blend, and it combines the essential oils of wild orange, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary essential oils. And these support the immune function when used internally and contains really deep cleansing properties. So doTERRA On Guard protective blend has been in integrated into a variety of products and four of those I will share with you now and these four we have available here in South Africa. If you're diving in from a different country then just check out your doTERRA web page that is associated with the country that you live in and you might find even more products because there are more available in this range. So we move away from chemicals hiding in our regular toothpaste we can choose doTERRA's fluoride-free natural whitening toothpaste with doTERRA's On Guard essential oil blend in there and other natural ingredients to help clean teeth and whiten teeth with gentle polishing agents. So hydroxyapatite, hydroxyapatite is how you pronounce that word, <laughs> is a natural occurring substance, substance that is actually included in this new formula that doTERRA have recently put out. It's um, really awesome. It re actually helps remineralize and restore enamel. And that's an issue for a lot of us, even me. And that was me like 10 years ago that I had that issue. Um, so it's a fantastic ingredient that they've put in here and the fact that it's a natural one too. So to keep your teeth healthy, free of cavities, and enamel erosion, um, the enamel needs to be construct, con constantly sorry, built back up and remineralized. And the hydroxyapatite helps the teeth to feel strong, smoother, healthier, and less sensitive to hot and cold. So um, as well as the hydrate silica is a natural abrasive that they use to polish any stains off your teeth. And um, They've actually put in here peppermint and myrrh, additional essential oils in this because of their oral, their oral support and benefits. And they've also got a natural xylitol sweetener in there just to round it off and make it taste good in your mouth. So all natural products, which works fantastically well. I'm loving this new blend. I thought I wasn't going to, but I'm well impressed. And I especially love the fact that it's remineralizing, which my dentist said isn't possible unless you're using um, fluoride, which I didn't agree with at the point, and I certainly still do not. <laughs> um, moving on to just a quick, a quick side note here, additional to toothpaste is to say that any store-bought mouthwash like this one should be also tossed into the rubbish bin, please. It is full of alcohol, chemicals that kill your microbiome um, and has a huge list of ingredients on the back, which means it's no good. So please move away from that. You can easily make your own by just using a cup of water and a few drops of essential oil on guard being one of those and maybe some peppermint just to have that fresh breath or maybe spearmint, a few drops of that to your taste buds. And then if you want to, you can add a teaspoon of bicarb to that, but put it in a glass jar, put it next to your toothbrush and use that as your mouthwash, shake it up before you use it. Um, what a fantastic alternative, toxin-free and very natural 
that you can use to support your mouth after brushing your teeth with the on guard, right? We get this right. <laughs> okay, moving on to the other products that doTERRA have in the on guard range. So we are lucky and I'm very grateful for the soap that doTERRA have in the on guard range. We have this foaming hand wash, it comes in this bottle. That's how you get it. But you decanter it out into their foaming, um, what are the foaming? Dispenser. Dispenser, <laughs> that's the English word I'm looking for, dispenser. Um, this is fantastic. It has the, obviously the On Guard blend, which is a reassuring blend, it's very cleansing, sorts out a lot of the fires that we have on our hands. Um, and your kids really enjoy using it too because of that foaming action. You know, that whole satisfying thing where things foam and you've got that foaming. Yeah, no, kids love it. So they enjoy using this. You'll definitely know that your kids are washing their hands when you have this in your home. The other product that doTERRA have brought out is the On Guard Hand Mist. It's a no brainer for doTERRA considering the couple of years that we've had. So they brought out this awesome product um, eliminates 99.9% .9 of bacteria and other germs on our skin. It also has a natural ingredient in here called ethyl alcohol, and that gives the antiseptic properties that effectively clean their hands and prevent the spread of the bacteria. So it's a great hand mist to keep with you on the go when you're traveling, going to work or school. Um, just wherever, you know, there's so many opportunities where we need to kind of spritz our hands down after using money, going to the supermarket. Um, so that one, uh, it does even get sold in a pack of five. Why? Because everyone in your home needs it and you might need it in multiple places, not just one. So it's a great product to have on hand wherever you go. The last product in the On Guard range that I'm going to share with you tonight is the On Guard Multipurpose Concentrate Cleaner. This is a good one. And we waited a long time to get this and we were super excited when, we, when it launched this year. So it's designed um, as obviously as a natural cleaner, non-toxic, plant-based surfactants that provide a non-toxic and biodegradable way to clean um, and eliminate odors in your home. So there's even a list on the side here of the different ways you can use it. So it's a multi-purpose surface spray and it gives you the instructions of how to, um, so they say 30 ml of the concentrate to one liter of water. You can use this as dishwashing liquid, as a bathroom toilet spray, or you can use it for tough stains. So if you've got something on your clothing or your tablecloth, you can actually apply this directly or um, even actually like pots and pans, those stubborn things that won't come off, apply directly, leave it for a little while and clean it off and you'll come right. So this is a fantastic one to use throughout your home. Um, really happy to have that one in my home and using it almost daily. On to, so that's the end of me sharing about doTERRA On Guard, fantastic products that we have that are super cleansing and protective for our homes and our families. Now, recently, doTERRA made available in South Africa the Abode Collection. And then this is a limited time product at the moment, but this collection was recently released in doTERRA America. And so we're super lucky actually to get it so soon, I would say. It was, hey, Natasha, we're, we're quite lucky, hey? Eh? I don't know if there's other countries that have received it so quickly. Thank you. Absolutely. Adam. Yep. South Africa is really blessed. And um, yeah, it's not out in all the other countries yet. So we are really blessed to so get it while it's out there. Yeah, definitely. So it is limited time only. Um, what's so special about this line, um, I'm going to show it to you just now, is that doTERRA have gone green with the ingredients and their sustainable packaging. So here's the dish soap. It's in this gorgeous amber, brushed amber bottle, or well, matte actually, probably call it matte, amber bottle with this spout, you can see there. We've got the multi-purpose surface spray. 
with its rubber bottom. And we have the foaming hand wash in this gorgeous bottle. I mean, hello, hello. I know which one I want. <laughs> so these are the these are the bottles that we you get in this collection, as well as the um, products to put in them and start using. So obviously the green ingredients and then this sustainable packaging. So they've used glass and aluminium and cardboard throughout the range. When you when you get it delivered to you, a lot of the products are in cardboard boxes like this that are recyclable. The concentrated liquids are in bottles, say like this. So it's all, this is glass. This one is aluminium and these are all recyclable. So once you've empty those into your dispensers. You can recycle these. Um, so they've really gone environmentally friendly with this range. Um, they've really put a lot of effort in just the premium and the quality and the design in it. So it really does um, make you feel super special when you clean. Actually, So this is my cleaning product that I will be using in the future. <laughs> so it does start out with just like the on guard range of cleaning products and whatnot, this one also starts out with an essential oil blend called Abode. So this blend of essential oils has distilled lime, litsia, cassia, lemon eucalyptus, tea tree, abravate, I believe it's kochi eucalyptus. It's a bit of a different word for me. Kochi eucalyptus, cilantro, lavender and lemon myrtle. So that's what's included in here. And those actually have been selected specifically for their cleansing constituents. So the fact that they're all cleansing and very, very cleansing essential oils. Um, and when they're brought together, they are magnified into this beautiful blend. And I have to say, it's a blend that is amazingly refreshing and invigorating. With the cassia, you can definitely smell the lemon eucalyptus in there and the lemon myrtle and the cassia pulls through on that cinnamon note. It's really, really special. So the three products that we have available, obviously the dishwashing liquid is really effective, free of phosphates, sulfates, phthalates, dyes, and chlorine. So it's a great one. You know, I don't think we realize the rubbish that is in the sunlight liquids and the other liquids that we wash our dishes with. Um, the multi-purpose spray is, can be used on surfaces where you're going to be preparing food, not a problem at all. Bathrooms, countertops, fixtures, walls, even wood, tiles, you can use it wherever you'd like. Um, perfect for your home. And then the hand wash actually doesn't have a boat in it. This is actually, um, because I don't know if you want to smell a boat on your hands, so they have actually been very kind. Aren't they Terra very, very considerate? They've given us the foaming hand wash in the Citrus Bliss or Citrus Bloom, sorry, um, essential oil blend. So it's a gorgeous, sweet and sweet citrus floral smell that you get when you wash your hands with the Abode hand washing um, liquid. So these are the products that you can get at the moment. Like we said, limited time only. They are still available. Um, and we will be getting, um, yeah, I assume, yeah, not assume, I know soon we will be having access to the refills of these. So looking forward to that. I'm almost done, but I wanna share with you two other products before I go. The next one I wanna share with you is the fact that um, so many of us love to have candles in the home. Who of you love candles? Who of you? Love the toxins they release into the air. No. Used to. Used to just love the candle smells, but not anymore. <laughs> no, I, I get it. You know what? Candles have that glittering light. It is gorgeous. I, I will admit that. I will admit that. But um, the, the chemicals, the synthetic fragrances that are in there is just not worth the ambiance. And you can be having a few of these around your home diffusing a gorgeous essential oil or essential oil blend of your choice into the air 
and having a wonderful aroma and um, what's the word um, when I'm looking, <laughs> oh my goodness, sometimes English just fails me and it's my home language. Um, the feeling of the, of the room, any case, um, when you're with people and you just want to have a really nice mood or yes, mood or ambiance, ambiance people. That's what I'm looking for, ambiance. <laughs> so have a few of these diffusing around. Um, they are wonderful to even shift mood if you've got some, you know, if, yeah, I, I, I was going to say if you have people that have bad moods in your home, but I hope that's not the case. But you can really shift mood with the essential oil that you diffuse. Um, what happens in here if you're not too aware of an essential oil diffuser is that there's an electronic plate down here and it starts to vibrate, electronic frequency happens and it sends the water and the essential oil that you've got in this device up into a fine mist and that disperses into the air and starts affecting you through your um, olfactory system, your, your smell and all that happens, excuse me. So diffusing is fantastic and a great option to move away from if you're a lover of candles or good smells in your home. The last product I wanna share with you, and I almost missed it today when I was finalizing what I wanted to share, is seeing as we're coming up to summer, I felt it was important to add this to the list of products that I just share with you about, because we all reach for um, peaceful sleep and tabard when it comes to summer and insects, right? I mean, if you're out and about, those things um, go with you, yet they are so harmful. I mean, if you're spraying something on and you cough and you splutter and you can't breathe, that's a really good indication that that stuff is no good for you. So you have to think about what kind of option you can choose to move away and get something that is much cleaner and kinder to your respiratory system as well as your, your body because that gets absorbed into your skin. So Dodera have their own line, uh, not line, but blend called Terra Shield. This is the spray, so it's already put together in a spray form, but you can get the straight essential oil that can even be diffused um, to deter insects when you're out and about. But this is a fantastic one to throw into your tackle, tackle box or picnic mine key or wherever, you know, car, wherever you're, if you're heading out, camper trailer, wherever. Take this one with you. This is going to be your saving grace when you're out and about um, to deter you, or deter you from insects or insects from you, however you want to put it. Um, don't use, don't reach for peaceful sleep or the other toxic products when you have that. And it's available here in South Africa, so there's no excuse. So that brings me to the end of this informative chat. Um, remember that starting a toxic free lifestyle requires you to take just one small step at a time. Don't feel overwhelmed. Don't get stressed up about it. Um, decide why, where you want to start. Because I think when you start to think about this, you kind of, something in what I've shared with you tonight would have come up to your mind and you thought, oh, I could start with that. So start with that and um, go from there. And what I did was I, once I used a product and I'd finished with it, I bought a toxic free product. And I started, to, and that's how I went through my home. And I still, I'm still moving through my home and changing things out. And don't be, un, don't be shakeable. Be unshakable about your quest in moving away from toxins. Um, because you can easily walk into a supermarket and pick up that shampoo because you haven't made an order with doTERRA, whatever the case is. Um, but don't do it. Be unshakable in your quest to become, uh, to have a toxin-free lifestyle as much as possible. And remember the bigger picture. I mean, we are not thinking about tomorrow in our health, but we are thinking about the future and our quest for a health and wellness um, when we are older and for our children as well. So I hope that inspires you. I hope that encourages you and that you've learned something here tonight and that there are options out there and it's not 
it's not overwhelming. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nora, that was amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, and you know, many people aren't DIY people. Um, they don't have time to be DIY people. And so yeah, we are. You've just you've shared amazing uh, products that already are available for us. But maybe if you are a DIY person, then there really are so many options that you can use the essential oils. Um, so maybe later on, we'll pop some uh, recipes in there for you and you can mm -hmm. have a look at them. But, you know, it's so true that we need to think about the next generation as well. Um, you know, you think about in people's homes and so often, you know, you see the parents just, you know, the, the, the um, deodorants and everything. And you're going, but you've got kids around, you know. And then what about those pets? What about the pets? More and more people or, you know, having the animals now are, are coming up with the most incredible illnesses. Um, yeah. I mean, we sadly know that obviously, you know, all the pesticides that has been sprayed out there, you know, the, the harmful stuff and that that's out there, you know, um, just even in our own municipal areas and that oftentimes, you know, they, they're spraying stuff and then you're going, come on, you know, what about all the animals that are walking around and then they're, they're being affected, but you kids I mean, and everything. Even yeah. in my home, my Jack Russell, I was, I, it, there was just pink on her body and had been there for months to be honest and, I, and she was itchy by it but it wasn't until I changed my floor soap that I realized that's what was giving her this rash the whole time yeah. was what I was using on my floor yeah absolutely absolutely and there's so many different options and I mean I just love to take that before I had the concentrate I would put um, the on guard um, the oil uh, into some water with some vinegar in and then I'd wash my floors in that I mean you can do so much you know, just if you, if you can't even afford maybe to get the, the other products and that kind of thing. If you've just got, you know, doTERRA, there are amazing starter kits. Um, mm -hmm. You know, one of them would be, let me just quickly show you. So just, you know, you can start off with just a membership and then get a couple of oils or a couple of these products. But I mean, you can start off with the Home Essentials kit. There's 10 um, essential oils inside here. Yeah? And I mean, you could be using these as on guard inside here, yeah? but there's the tea tree. I, I actually often would use the tea tree as a deodorant, you know? And so there, there are so many things that you can do with just this kit to start off with. And of course it comes with the diffuser as well. Um, you know, there is the small one. So these are the 15 mil bottles. Um, and then that one, it does have a five mil, but just even applying those things on our bodies um, and diffusing that, that is already just, you know, getting rid of those toxins, you know, it comes in, there's a smaller kit. This is now the five mil bottle, and then you're getting the Smart and Sassy, another one that you can just be putting in your water. Yeah, uh, great flavor, great. the Smart and Sassy. Yeah, that's a great uh, metabolic blend. And then, of course, these are the smaller kits um, that you can get as well. These are great, just little starter kits. Um, and, you know, we always say with this one, add a peppermint or a breathe. Um, and then guess what? You know, when you start this month with any one of uh, the, the, the last one, the Beginner's Kit or the Family Essentials Kit, you will get an adaptive oil free, which is a blend. Um, again, yeah, get rid of the stress in your home, get rid of the stress in your life and use um, adaptive. If you get the Home Essentials kit this month, you're gonna get Elevation, the joyful blend free as well as the adaptive. So yeah, but you know, you might wanna just say, start off with, you know, with the Virage kit or whatever you wanna do, chat with the person who invited you. Um, you know, you can just live doTERRA, you can share doTERRA, or you can, you know, doing it as a business. Most people are going to live it, but there are lots of sharers and there's a lot of builders out there. So come and chat with us. We'd love to support you. And Nora, what is that question that you have for us? And what are you giving away as your prize tonight? My goodness. Okay, wait, I just better not stuff this up. <laughs> <laughs> First up, I'm giving away the On Guard Natural Whitening Toothpaste. Awesome. That's an awesome prize. And the question is, what are the two detox mechanisms that we have in our body, naturally have in our body, that I mentioned at the start of my talk? Right. Great stuff. Okay. So if you maybe you know can't remember, go back and listen to this video, put it in, and then probably tomorrow morning, I'll go through the, the posts and everything, and um, then we're going to actually give a prize out, and Nora's going to send it out to you. So, yep, um, you know, just there's simple things that you can do. So, Nora, again, thank you so much, Louise and Hayley for joining here live thank with you. us on the space, uh, you know, on the, the Zoom live, in the live streaming, and whoever's watching, again, thank you so much. Go back to the person who invited you. I'm not sure, Louise or Hayley, did you have any questions quickly? And actually, last thing I wanted, did want to say, maybe they want to say, but I'll just quickly say it in case they don't. Ladies and gentlemen, teenagers out there right now, 
are needing natural products. Because literally, if we think about their hormones that are being impacted right now, you know, as a teenager, Nara, you've got teenagers. Mm -hmm. You know, as teenagers right now, there is all this growing stuff that happening and that. And there, there's enough stuff that is, you know, loaded on them. Let's yeah. give them some natural options. Your, mm -hmm. your teenagers, Nora, I mean, I know that they're using all the stuff. They are, but to be honest, I think, um, you know, the pool of the world is also there. Sure. So I do struggle sometimes when their friends have a product and they want to, they want the same product. But I do try and encourage. And, you know, that's, that's the thing I know when I was growing up, my parents um, always opted for the natural products. And that's what I've turned to in my adulthood. So as much as you can, I do try and navigate and direct my children towards the natural products and I give it to them so that it is there. And if they want the other things, it must come out of their own pocket money. I try not to encourage it too much. Um, but yeah, there's a lot already in our food. There's a lot already in the food that you cannot remove that um, you, we feed ourselves with. Yeah. So if you can start eliminating these other things, uh, you know, awesome. Yep, awesome stuff. So hey, let's get sweaty. Let's start flashing out yeah. some things. And um, yeah, Thank let's you. make sure that our, <laughs> our bodies are uh, responding really well. And yep. So hey, chat with us. We'd love to be able to support you. And again, thank you so much for joining us um, this evening. And um, see you perhaps in a couple of weeks time. We'll come up with something else. And yep. it was just really great having us with you tonight. Louise, you want to say something in closing? Hey, Leigh, quickly. I just wanted to say thanks. Thanks so much, Nora. That was very, very informative. And then somebody has asked, uh, what was the name of the author? What was the book name and the author by Bruce, somebody or other that you mentioned? Bruce Laurie and Rick Smith, I believe it is. But I'll put it in the comments. Oh, I'll respond directly to that person that asks. Yes. Okay. Talks in, talks out with an extra, what, what, what? I'll share it now now. Awesome. Thank you, Louise. Thank you for Thanks, handling Louise. that Facebook page for us there, Louise, at the same time. So well done. Hey, Liz, closing. Yeah, I agree with Louise, Nora. Thank you. That was really, very really informative. I think there's Thank a you. lot of things that people who um, have been watching with us or will still watch it afterwards will be able to take from this. And it was really practical means that you gave. Thank awesome. you. Thank you, Hayley. Appreciate that. Fantastic. See you next time. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Bye, and everybody. Uh, we want to get that. We want to get that um, toothpaste out to you. So make sure that you're putting in the comments there. Whoever's first, we're going to give you get it out to you. So have a great Bye. evening. Bye for now. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.